Oi, 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 you. What are you doing? What is she doing? I'm in the lines. Not bad for a first attempt, right? He's f***ing me. laughing to yourself. Shall we um, crack on with the video? Today's video, everybody, is living with a limo. I'm going to find out, can you daily drive it? Can you parallel park it? A lot of you guys also want to see some donuts, so we're going to include those as well. But first, let's start with some food, shall we? Right then, so the first port of call in our living with episode with a limo is to go to a KFC to see if we can fit through drive through I know a lot of you guys requested that when I asked you on Instagram. First impressions, first time I'm moving in this, being driven by a lovely bloke called Paul. We have air suspension, it smooths everything out. Oh, 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 oh. oh yeah, I can just imagine just being on my prom night. Yeah, who's gonna be my prom king? I can get used to this. Hey, if maybe CT, we make it to the big time. I'll be coming to shoots in my limo every day. Genuinely, I'm just staring ahead and I'm just seeing a sofa that is twice as long as the one I have in my house. It's, it's obscene. This is the only way to travel. A Vauxhall Carlton. Don't see those every day. Oh. Oh, that is just the most glorious thing ever. Oh. Wake me when I have chicken in my mouth. Oh dear. <gasps> will you attempt it? Yeah. This will be a world's first. Not gonna happen, is it? Oh. <laughs> I think it's a... Uh... It's a mission fail for the KFC drive-thru. Right, so because KFC has failed us because the drive-thru is too small for the limo, which is absolutely appalling, we're now gonna try our luck at a very nearby McDonald's. <laughs> what a world we live in. How are you feeling about this one, Paul? <laughs> oh dear. This is not good. This is a strike against McDonald's mark as well. Right, abort, 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 Paul. Again, completely outraged at the fact that I can't get my limo through a drive through How is someone as famous and as rich as me supposed to eat? It's appalling. Hey, what are you going to do for lunch? Oh, I don't know. Jack, what am I going to do for lunch? I'm going to have to... I'm not walking. I'm in a limo. That's disgusting. You should be ashamed. So a strike against the limo for making me use my legs to get a burger. But on the upside, I was at least able to share my experience with my best friend, with my colleagues. Because trust me, you can't beat eating a nutritionally null and void lunch with people you have to tolerate. With our lunch now kissing our arteries, I think it's time I showed you around this limo for a closer look at what makes it so amazing. Right, under the bonnet, we have got a 4.6 litre V8. We've got nice wheels. Everything's really shiny. Uh, we have key code entry. So in case you're a driver and you forget your keys inside, you can punch some numbers and go inside, which is quite interesting. I've not actually sat in this yet. Oh, wow. Oh my, oh wow. I'm literally disappearing in the leather. It's a 2007 Lincoln Town Car. A lot of you guys in America already know everything about it. The main crux of this video is obviously gonna be in the back. So let me show you that in a second. Doors sound amazing. Parking sensors, which is probably gonna be very useful for me later. This car is 28 feet long. That is two Skoda Superbs, which is just obscene. And then here, we have the business end. Let me take my shoes off. Oh, 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 I'll tell you what, let's do MTV crib style, all right? All right, let's do that. Yo, 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 MCT Cribs, you wanna come in? Come on, Jake. All right. Is that enough? Is that, is that, is that yeah, MTV so, Cribs enough? Okay. Yeah. We have 
this whole console area, the bar area, TV, TV. We've got ice, real ice. That's, in that's interesting, isn't it? We've got lots of glasses, lots of kind of, what are these called, tumblers? What's here? Oh, we have water, we have Cokes, we have lemonades. Above Jack at the moment is a sunroof for when you're on your prom night and you want to go, oh, look at me, daddy paid for this all, aren't I lovely? Oh, and a mirror. <gasps> Give me a moment. All right. The second most interesting thing in this limo, the first being the mirrored roof, obviously, because that's hot, is that we have a sink. If you're on a long journey, oh, where are the toilets? Oh, there's a sink there. Many uses, very awesome. And please believe me when I say that this is literally the most comfortable leather I have ever sat on. I am so tempted to take my clothes off and just uh, just feel this leather on my leather. Anyway, moving swiftly on to something I know you guys are desperate to see, donuts. So here goes. What? You guys wanted donuts? You're a monster. Now then, it's time to get suited and booted. So say hello to your new limo driver, Alex Baby Driver Kirsten. Driving a limo. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh, this is a bit of a tough angle already. I hope there are no cars coming. Any, oh shit, the bed. Oh shit, there's a lorry. Oh, this is stressful. Thank you. We're gonna make it round there. We're gonna end up on the other side of the road. Oh, pavement, in fact. Excellent. Excellent. Oi, 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 oi. What are you doing? What is she doing? What is she doing? I was quite clearly trying to drive. And so it begins, limo driving, very stressful. Navigated, lagabalsy. Oh Christ, I really need to remember to concentrate. Do not get idle. I'm, oh God, am I too far? <laughs> So you know when you sit in the back of a limo, you just think, oh, everything's awesome. In the front, all hell is breaking loose. It's no good. Big Bertha Mama needs some space. Yes. Excellent. I feel like a rock star's driver. Hey, you okay in there? Ah, oh, you're in a cocaine-induced coma. I'll wake you up when we arrive, Mick Jagger. Now, ride comfort. Incredible, we've got air suspension on here, steering feedback, no, there is none, but you don't want anything like that. It's not a sports car, it's a limo, it wafts. It's very slow, it feels super heavy, but I imagine once you get used to the proportions of this thing, it must be really nice to drive. To prove this, I'll show you how easy it is to park at a local supermarket. Wanna park somewhere close? that shows people I've arrived, but far away enough that reminds them, don't park next to me. I don't want your kind there. So let's drag it in like that. This looks like a glorious parking spot. Can we get it in between the lines? That's the question. Oh, I'm a bit wonky. It's looking good. That's looking very good. There we go, and job done. Driving a limo, actually, very easy. How do you get the key out? How do you, how do you? We'll leave the key. I'm in the lines. Not bad for a first attempt, right? Yeah. Bay parking manoeuvre completed. It's time to get back on the road. Now, the good thing about driving a limo is that it's not any wider than a normal car, so you don't have to freak out about the width, the length. That's, that's the real brain I never thought I'd get to drive a limo. It's not something that was on my bucket list, but hey, I'm, I'm glad I'm doing it. 
Oh God, that steering rack is so slow. Look at that. Wow, wow. I would be in Australia if I were in my MX-5 by now. We're gonna try and parallel park this beast. We do have parking sensors. We do not have parking cameras. Right, um, where's the back of the car? Into reverse we go. I'm, I'm parking here, you muppet. Look at me go. I think that's far too easy, I think. Oh no, that's, that's the curb. Is that the curb? Straighten up a little bit. Now turn it in. There we go. Look at that. Nope, nope, nope. Third time lucky. That'll do. I'm in. Done. That was easy. That was lovely. Give me a challenge. Chauffeuring business. Alex's limos. Alex's pleasure barge. What? Where are we? He f me. He f me. <laughs> Here we go. Challenging my skills to the max. You wanted a three point turn. How about a 20 point turn? Austin Powers. This is, uh, <coughs> this is, this is very fat. I just don't know what's going I think I'm going to have to. I'm going to have to abort. Beep. 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 Lovely. Come on, guys. What are you waiting for? Let's go. Three-point turn completed. It's time for the final challenge. Giving a ride to some passengers. And who better than my best friend, my colleagues. Thankfully for me, they were full of confident messages of support. Don't pin it. <laughs> oh, that's tight, isn't it? <laughs> you haven't even got half the car through yet. Car's coming. I don't care. Car's going to wait. Car. Yeah, yeah, cool. Why don't we play a game? All right. We choose where to turn around. That's a great game. I love that game. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Here. <laughs> Come right, please. Really? What do you mean, really? All right. Why can't you? Well, all right. I can't see there's any cars. Yeah, there's cars coming. Cars coming. I think you're blocking three roads. <laughs> <laughs> Watch out right, for this. Car. No, no, they're waiting now. They're going to have to wait. Uh oh. Is that all right, Paul? Yeah, that's cool. That's cool. All right, I'm going to go back. Oh, no. Oh no! What's happening? Oh Sorry, no! Just relax, guys, yeah? Cheers. What else we spoke? We're in limbo. What did they expect yeah. us to be doing? Do more work. We should crack on with an edit or something. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you've Sorry. missed it. What? That was oh, it. Oh, that was it. You oh, shit. Down there. Oh. <laughs> no, please don't go past it. Well, oh, we can't. Going. Well, where are we going to go? Should've We've got to go back down there. Well, well, shut up. <laughs> I'm the driver. You shut your face. There's a car behind you who wants to turn down here. Oh, Christ. Oh, no. And there's a car in front of you that wants to turn down here. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm just going to... I would have done, I would have gone straight, stopped and reversed into this road. Yeah. yeah. Thanks, Paul. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Can we have the power on back here, please? Master. Oh, there we go. What does that do? Yeah, oh. that's probably all our lights. Oh, hello. You're welcome. Frowning. <laughs> You're worried. I'm concentrating. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen you in seven years of knowing you concentrate. Yeah. Imagine if you applied this level of concentration to your work. <laughs> <laughs> He's using all his brain capacity to not defend himself. <laughs> you stick up. <laughs> you can't you just look in the mirror. What? <laughs> you can't even think straight. <laughs> I'm still using words. Alright, here we go, Paul. Oh, this car's coming. I know. Right. Oh, oh we're going to need a wide one here, aren't we? Oh my god, it's so tight. Oh! Oh! Why are you doing that? Easy. Well, it's because it's on a, it's on a lip. Thank you, Paul. Well, thank you for that. That was excellent. That was the best limo drive I've had today.
I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Living With A Limo. I want to say a massive thank you again to LA Stretch Limos for providing this absolute beast. Now remember, you can subscribe to Car Throttle by clicking this link. And don't forget to watch more Living With episodes down here. Anyone want to ride? Anyone? Come on, Jack. Come on. In your pop. Bye.